Well, I grew up in Harrisburg, uptown Harrisburg, and uh, was hanging with the wrong people and um, end up um, using drugs, starting out with marijuana, drinking, then heroin. And then I end up selling drugs and end up in state prison. Most men like myself, I lost my children by me going in and out of the state prison. And um, it was hard for me to communicate with my kids because I didn't know how. I didn't have no father in my life as I was coming up. I had a stepdad, but you know, he was an alcoholic. And I never had a man for a role model to teach me stuff. Went to uh, work release and I got introduced to Tri Community Action Center about the 24 7 uh, Dads group. I was hoping that by me going to these groups and talking to Pastor Derek and different guys in the group, that uh, it would give me some insight about trying to reconnect with my younger children. You are far too valuable to your kids than to be missing in action. If you don't change on the inside, nothing changes on the outside. The men that come to this program realize that they have failed as fathers. That's the first thing that we have to admit, is that uh, in order to fix something, we have to realize that it, it's broken. And so the men come there realizing that they want to be better, they want to change, they want to be in their kids' lives. I have a good relationship with my uh, older kids. Oh, they encourage me and they always send me texts. Grandpa, we love you. Stay, stay the way you are. We like who you are today. Darnell has just been extraordinary. His commitment to change, his commitment to listen, his commitment to take direction has been probably the greatest asset to him of uh, being successful today. I, got, I learned to love myself, you know. And I love other people, but if, I, if Darnell ain't right, I can't love nobody or help nobody else. So I know I had to stay sober and keep doing what I'm doing. The most important things that our kids want from us is not money, it's not sneakers, it's not clothes, it's our time. To see the children with their fathers, it's no, there's just unconditional love. I got my own place. I'm not living off of nobody else today. I work. Before my mother passed, she had always told me that one day your children will find me. I believe as long as I'm doing what I'm doing for something positive, something good will happen.